what is up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is patty for those of you who do not know and we're getting into another weekly vlog um <laughs> i kind of excited a little bit because one of my best friends is coming into town <laughs> On Thursday, yeah, she flies in early Thursday till Sunday. Um, and we got plans to be in these streets, okay? <laughs> so I think uh, we're going to try out this new Mexican restaurant that I haven't been to yet. We are going to um, Bonnie and Clyde, checking out that new spot. And we're also going to do something on Saturday. I don't know if we're gonna go to like one of those fall festival wine things or if she's gonna go with me to the sky zone. So it should be an interesting vlog. Um, if you watched last vlog, then you know your girl got some news. <laughs> and I'm really just trying to stay in the best mental health that I can, um, staying prayed up, staying in the word. So I told myself I was gonna stay in routines um, and I am going to um, get up every day still, work out a few days a week, get dressed, try to get along. I look cute. <laughs> just, you know, everything that just helps with mental health um, and create a structure. So my job's only been giving me light duties because they know I'm looking for employment. <laughs> so I've been trying to um, strategize different things how i'm going to create my day and i've been starting out with you know getting up working out getting dressed take my first meeting apply for a few jobs take a break because if you know applying for jobs is is not fun it is extremely stressful <laughs> and i'm mentally there and you know better and sharper first thing in the morning um some people are better in the evening and that's just not me that ain't my truth <laughs> so i will be sharing like all of the things i'm doing during this journey because I know a lot of people have been getting laid off. Um, a lot of people are hunting for jobs. So I'm fixing to share and be very, very transparent throughout this um, journey that I hopefully and prayerfully <laughs> will not last long. <laughs> so um, the Queen Society has been very, very helpful. It's full of very um, tons of career oriented women. So a lot of them have been sending me links to their different companies. So. I've done a lot of applications, but I still need to do some more of those. Um, I bust down four this morning already. That was a referral from my previous uh, role, uh, which is, listen, y'all, being nice carry you a long way in life. <laughs> carry you a long long way in life i'm like i'm glad i have like great relationships with you know these previous jobs and contacts and all of that um i am currently really trying to file for unemployment um although i am thinking and hopeful and praying that i won't need it um you know the government moves slow so <laughs> i'm trying to go ahead and do what i can on my part so one of the things that says that you need is a letter of separation from your job um you can file for it without it but it will move faster if you have that proof of like nah bro they they let me go i did not i ain't choose to leave and i ain't get fired <laughs> so i hit my hr up about it yesterday and i haven't heard back so i'm fixing the call if i don't hear by noon um to do that uh, one of my friends told me about a headhunting company which is a staffing agency that's actually looking for people so I created an account with Robert Half yesterday. I put my resume up there. Um, they also have job posting on there that you can apply yourself um, as well as they look for you. So I'm gonna do that <laughs> as well today. And I'm about to sit down and write out my to-do list because I got plenty of things to do and I just need to get everything organized. Jess and Keisha might be coming over today to watch some movies. Um, I do need to tell them that I have a bridesmaids call from 7 to 8 tonight though. So I'll be here but not here. <laughs> So y'all, plenty to do, and I need to finish cleaning my home and get some groceries for my friends. So we got some snacks, and I'm excited. I'm so happy she's coming because I need that emotional pick me up. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, it should be a really, really great week. Um, I'm really looking forward to being back outside <laughs> before the budget-friendly vlogs return. Because after this, 
we're gonna have to be real careful with that paper you feel me <laughs> now hump day it's wednesday <laughs> last night jess and keisha came over and um i'm gonna just show you a little clip of um what the night consisted of mm -hmm. yeah my friends pulled up on me and they got me drunk in my own home <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. We got popcorn. We got Oreos. And we've been talking about. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I I had a very good time. Okay, okay, we had a really good conversation, um, and I really needed it. Like, I know I say this a lot, and it's really because I mean it wholeheartedly. Having good people in your life is a game changer like i ain't fixing to cry okay <laughs> like it's been life and enough but having good people in your life having people that are there to support you emotionally uh physically spiritually financially when you're in need is dope um so we had a really good time and i'm dragging this morning i did not make it to the gym contacts have been in um all night long um, I actually have some work to do for my current job and some more applications to do. <laughs> I did go ahead and get the bed ready for my friends, so that's done. Uh, we kind of need to go to Target today, and I kind of want to walk inside, but I feel like that's a bad idea, so I just got to knock on the door. Friends are so sweet. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to keep it together. <laughs> and today, I just I don't even feel like applying to jobs for real, for real. Like I just. I want to go lay on the couch. <sighs> My people are so sweet. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> the devil's not about to take my mind, bruh. He not, he not finna do it. This was so sweet. I would take a shower and then get back to the task at hand. <laughs> before we go to Target. What's up, y'all? I completely did not get nothing done. I was supposed to today. <laughs> but, um, this was the night before my friend arrives. And I wanted to show y'all what I got from Amazon. So, on Saturday, we're supposed to be chilling in the house some, at some point. <laughs> at some point to work on some of our goals, some of our financial goals. And I wanted to get us some cute, like, little notebooks because... We both have a love of stationery, you know? So I got these cute books. It was a pack of four. Each of these notebooks come with a pen and they were like $20. So I was like, why would I buy two for $40 when I could get four for 50? Why I spent $50 on, on notebooks? Don't judge me, don't judge me. But they're so cute, or supposedly. So we finna see how cute they really are. So there was two different prints on them. One has like this tree of life. I call it a tree of life. Cause it looked like a tree of life. Um, and there was another one that says like something about your journey or adventure begins or something like that. So this is supposed to come in four different colors. And you know, when you're writing a cute things, it just makes you feel cute. So this is the salmon -y. is this salmon? What color is this? Blush? It's not really mauve pink <laughs> and it comes with a pen oh, can we talk about that discoloration though is that like happened because of mold or something I don't know <laughs> anyway it's made so that you can put in different like little notebooks 
Um, it does have like the sheets with lines because your girl need lines, okay? And the handwriting is it's just not, it's just not there, okay? <laughs> but they're cute. So now I'm curious to see, do all of them have that mark? I mean, you can't see it when it's closed, but these weren't cheap notebooks, you feel me? So the other color is this blue, which is coming up really nice on the camera. This is really pretty. Um, and this one only has like a little baby mark on it. But this is Crooks. Let's look at the other colors. Okay, there's like this navy. Okay, maybe it was just the first one that had that like mark on it. Which means to me it's probably been sitting in a box in a warehouse somewhere, temperature changes, all of that. And this last one is like, it's like a gray. Okay, that wipes off. It's like a gray, and this one doesn't have any mark on it. So, yeah, I think it might have just been like the moisture and stuff. But yeah, they're really, really cute. So, the pin holder. Why does it smell like that? Do I need to air these joints out? Okay, let me show you the pen. It's a nice quality pen. Oh, that's the little cap that come on it. I feel like this was supposed to be real quick and I'm struggling. These claws, man. Y'all, I'm so upset. I hit my big toe. Tell me why my big toe cracked. The big toe I just got done a week ago. Y'all, I'm really struggling to get this thing off. You know how you tired so you just get frustrated over everything? But it writes really nicely. It's a nice, I don't know if you can see it. It's still not off all the way, but it's one of those like loose ink type of pens, heavy quality. So I'm pretty sure it's one of those pens when you write, you have to let it dry or it's gonna smear. But yeah, I mean, overall I'm pretty okay with this purchase. I just don't know why it smell like that. Do all of these smell have like a little odor to it? No, it's just that first one. So I'm trying to decide which colors I want to give her. I feel like we should get each get a light and a dark. I don't know. I'll figure that out, y'all. I need to finish cleaning. Uh, I need to finish vacuuming before it gets too late. And then I'm going to bust down at least three more applications before I call it a night. And when y'all see me tomorrow, my friend will be here. <laughs> it will be headed to that Mexican restaurant. Guess who's here? Ah! <laughs> she flew in this morning. And I did. And she did. And I did. <laughs> I Hair is on point. Yes. Period. The check out the earrings, y'all. <laughs> We're about to go try this Mexican restaurant called Rio 150. Mm -hmm. We both haven't been before. No. So mm -hmm. hopefully it's good. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. The margaritas look huge. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Hey, y'all.
y'all. So the place we went to yesterday, that Mexican restaurant, first of all, the margaritas was as big as our heads. Like, honestly, even if both of us drank out of one, we wouldn't have finished it. Like, honestly, three or four people could have drank out of one of those margaritas. And it was good. It was delicious. It was flavorful. The liquor was in there. <laughs> and the food was so, so good, y'all. I am absolutely a huge, huge fan of queso. And I just haven't been to a Mexican restaurant yet that just had that really, really good white queso. Maybe. I know it might be like a little hype for some people, depending on what part of Charlotte they're located in. But that's my spot. Like, I'll probably be there like every week. Like, the food was good. Service was good. I accidentally ordered like the wrong thing. So I was asking for some chorizo on the side so I can make it the right thing. And they just brought me a whole nother thing. So good. It was so good. Like, when I tell y'all, we left there stuffed. Like it was Thanksgiving. We left there stuffed. We came back. We got back here about like 8 o'clock. We was knocked out. We was knocked out. We were knocked out. Woke up off the couch around 10 10 50 close to 11 o'clock before we really got off the couch because we were struggling like you know how your body just feels super heavy and you just like yo it was so good <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend so it's friday um we're in the bathroom talking because they still got my friends slaving at five o'clock on a friday like what <laughs> So I actually am starting to get dressed way early because I want us to have time to like pregame before um, we go out to Bonnie and Clyde's tonight for dinner. And also I just, you know, you just don't feel like rushing. Like you just want to take your time getting dressed. I really want to do like a full beat, even though my face is breaking out because has your girl been doing her nighttime skincare? Why am I stuttering so bad? I got so much on my mind, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I've not been doing my nighttime skin routines. I just have not been taking care of myself. I've just been trying to keep my mental preoccupied. So I'm trying to decide what to wear. Let me show you the options. So from what I can see off of the Instagrams and TikToks, the inside is like red and black. So I have this like strapless situation, which y'all, I got this <laughs> at Rainbow like five, six years ago. Where right, I really basic, I can throw over like a black sweater or like a um, leather jacket just over my shoulders and some black heels but i'm wondering is this gonna clash with the red or is it gonna give it like a, a accent because i'm not sure where they have it sitting um i have this pink dress that i wore probably like two years ago now damn that's crazy time really be flying it ties around the neck i got this off a of sheet in honey um, and it's long, so this could be an option. So I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but I'm like, is this gonna look weird with the red or is it gonna give it like a monochromatic type of situation? Is it gonna clash too much with the hair? I don't know, I could be overthinking it. And I'm stuck between, I think, the pink and this number. I also wore this probably about two, three years ago, haven't worn it since. It's a nice, slinky material. It's kind of sheer. Um, where did this from? Shein. <laughs> a couple years ago. So right now, it's really, really rainy. Um, I think it's supposed to be raining kind of on and off all evening. And also, you know how I always be talking about, like, bruh, I be starting forest fires on my thighs? Y'all, I actually really started a forest fire with my dad <laughs> like yesterday morning i was working out before i went to pick up my friend from the airport and wouldn't you know your girl was working out trying to be on my ish and y'all so see what happened was i 
knew my leggings had a hole in the thigh. Like, I knew that. But I had it up to a point that it wasn't rubbing, okay? But see, while I was working out, there was a shift, okay? And um, the meat became exposed. So in the last 10 minutes of my workout on a tread, I was doing one of those Peloton um, 45 minute like walking classes. Yo, that thigh started burning. I was like, okay, that kind of hurt a little bit. I was like, oh, I got 10 minutes left. I could thug it out. I got in the shower and I was like, oh, that thing burned a little bit. It's just a little hot. I looked at it. I tried to decide I'm going to show you a picture. If I show you a little picture, it might be up on the screen. If not, I was like, because mm. it's a little close to the, the cootie pad. You know what I'm saying? But, like, there are legit, it almost looks like I scratched myself. And there's scabs. Like, I, I broke the skin. Yeah, okay. Let's get dressed. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do my makeup. I need to make it cold in here because it's a little warm and I can't get dressed as hot. And just to see how the spirit leads me because I don't know. I'm really, really thinking about this dress though. So part of my issue of debating with outfits is that I'm going on that trip soon. And because of my current situation, I'm not buying stuff online. So I'm going to have to rework what I already have in my closet. And luckily I have plenty of stuff I haven't worn or I haven't worn in a long time. But that's what's like playing in the back of my mind. So. Oh, and also, my th it's where my thigh rubs. So I'm going to have to put, yesterday I put on like, before we went to the Mexican spot, I could have a gauze pad because I have a whole first aid kit here on standby. And then I put band-aids to secure it and that helped from the thighs rubbing against each other because that was hurting worse. That's why part of me wanted to wear pants, but y'all know I need pants and I have not brought pants, so I think this is going to be the one. We shall see. I feel a little cute, y'all. <laughs> I end up wearing this dress. I'll show y'all what it looks like, but I see the progress of the gym. It would be better if your girl was, you know, eating like she should, but that's, that's okay. We're making steps. I'm not really sure how to style my hair. So we're actually going to go pregame at Aisha's place um, at the um, the rooftop there. So I'm excited about that. But I just want my hair to look sexy. Give it a little oomph, oh, oomph. Oh. A little bit of, uh, uh. so I do like this hair but I don't know if I ever linked this crochet hair if y'all want it let me know but it does get like kind of stuck together do we want to wear it down I feel like this looks too mm. what was that? <gasps> Been looking for that. I don't know, let me figure this out. Okay, I decided on this hair. This is a dress. I wish my Shapewear was coming up a little bit more to cover my back fat right there, but let me just show y'all in the mirror. <laughs> okay, this is the dress. I'm loving it. I feel cute. <laughs> this is the dress. It has like a little. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm actually I'm actually making really, really good timing, and my friends always ready on time. Always, so I just need to get my purse and then we out here. <laughs>
that y'all excuse the glare of my glasses I'm about to go to the package room to get my contacts but it is Saturday we are struggling it's already almost three o'clock and we're about to go to either Ulta and Sephora then just go to Leah and Louise y'all know that's my spot and get some food and come back and chill but I gotta give y'all the rundown on Body and Clyde's and y'all we did not have a good experience <laughs> And I'll tell y'all, like, off the rip, I feel like people were catfishing with the size of Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde is small. It is not, like, this huge lounge um, at all. It is a small, intimate space, which is fine, right? It's fine. Um, the decor is, like, kind of okay. But I kind of feel like they're trying to advertise to fit for everybody and I feel like restaurants and lounges should be niche like you should be going somewhere for a particular experience so I thought it was really odd when we got into the dinner area because there's trying to be a lounge but also be fine dining and this is words from the manager's mouth that you got TVs up on the wall like you got this velvety wall with these red lounge chairs with TVs, some playing the news, showing you stuff from Gaza, which is depressing, right? Like, we've seen enough of that all over social media. Then you got, sp it's just weird, right? We did not have a really good server. Um, she introduced herself, but she just wasn't well versed on the menu. She also didn't tell us that it's supposed to be a small plate style restaurant featuring some entrees so that the small plates are gonna come out first and as soon as they're ready, rolling from the kitchen. And that was not explained to us. So when um, Aisha ordered her food, she was ordering it as an appetizer, but it came out before mine and my friends, right? So that wasn't explained to us. Um, we got all of our alcoholic drinks at different times. We actually got our Wagyu sliders, um, our small plate before all of us had our beverages before we got waters. Um, our server didn't come to check in on us. The food was good. The food was definitely like 10 out of 10. I would say our overall experience was probably like a 6.5, 5 out of 10. Um, even when I tried to tell one of the other servers that, hey, you know, we have a birthday at the table. Our waitress came back and just announced it to the table. It was like, um, how you know we weren't trying to do this on the low or a surprise? Also, y'all, for birthdays, they give you a Tiffany's looking box that just has like a macaron in it. But they don't do any like happy birthday songs or experiences or shots or sparklers. Nothing like that at all. <laughs> so it's like, here you go. Here's your take home dessert. Happy birthday. Which was like, hmm. But she's supposed to be like an upper scale, luxury, fine dining lounge type of experience. Um, also, they didn't ask my friend how she wanted her salmon cooked. So while she said it was very flavorful and delicious, you're supposed to ask people how they want their salmon cooked, just like steak. That wasn't asked of her. Um, and we just, our server didn't come back to check in on us. So naturally, we asked for the manager. Um, had a conversation with him. He was really sweet and understanding. Um, he said he had received a lot of feedback, <laughs> especially that night. Because y'all, even the music was not good. The music was not good. The music was not good. And I remember asking one of the waitresses, like, hey, you know, is this the normal music? And she's like, no, our normal DJ is not here tonight. But it just... Which also made us sad because like, dang, we're not even getting that experience that everybody else got to have for their first time. It was also kind of empty in there. The manager said he had a lot of people cancel last minute. Um, so he's probably going to have to change the reservation style because he declined a lot of people wanting to come because they were supposed to be at capacity. Um, and right now you can just reserve. Like you don't need to put down a card or anything. So we, you know, definitely that suggestion was made to him and he was like, oh, maybe yeah, I need to start doing like two, three dollars. And we're like, no, do twenty five dollars per person. And he's like, oh, I'm not going to do that. That's what the finer dining establishments do. Yunta does that. Leah Louise does that. Like so many other restaurants, you have to do that. And that also 
set your clientele to you know what i'm saying so the food was definitely good i do look forward to going back at a later date <laughs> when they get out all the kinks also upstairs we're like okay that must be the lounge club whatever no when you walk up the steps there is like a picture wall and then you go outside to the balcony area that has a bar which will probably be fun in the spring or the summer they do have the heaters out there but it was cold last night so it was just not the vibes weren't there the vibes weren't there <laughs> um and then to top things off y'all i was gonna leave this out but i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all because y'all gotta know the truth do y'all know that our server had the audacity not our server excuse me our waitress had the audacity to come up and approach because she did not like her feedback and said, so I thought my service was good. I told you my name. Had an entire attitude. I have never in my life, y'all, <laughs> even at the hoodest of hood spots I have been to, I have never in my life seen a waitress come up to her, her table after because she didn't like the feedback. I mean, popping her head to the side, trying to walk, like, okay? <laughs> Saw the manager come back downstairs. Hey, come here. <laughs> we have to have a conversation. So, needless to say, she will be let go. It's what he said. But we'll be back to see if that happens. Um, but it was not a good experience. After that, we went to Cloud for a few minutes. But Cloud was in the vibe. We were overdressed. And people weren't dancing. So, we went back to Aisha's place where we talked. Had really, really good conversations. So, it was a good night. We left her place around 4 in the morning. Then we went to Waffle House, y'all. Because Cookout did not have, had nothing. All they had was barbecue sandwiches and french fries. And y'all know, we in the South. And, and everything closes, okay? The McDonald's aren't 24 hours. The only thing that's really open late is Cookout, Legs, <laughs> and Waffle House. So we went to Waffle House, y'all. Waffle House had the tunes, okay? Waffle House had better music than Bonnie and Clyde, okay? We had better service. Our food came out quick. Our drinks came out together. She checked in on us. We were in and out in 40 minutes. And I do want to mention that the manager at Bonnie and Clyde said they were trying to... Um, their age group is for like 30 to 60. I was like, but your music is not. He's like, we're not trying to play the latest tunes. You don't got to play the latest tunes, but you, what? There's a lot of music out here. It was horrible. It did not make you want to get up and dance. It was just not a good night. So we we're kind of bummed out by our experience because we canceled our reservation somewhere else that had a guaranteed good experience. But needless to say, that is the review. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde as of now. Um, they are new, so sometimes you got to get places some time, but it was not a good experience. Not at all. Not at all. And it's South Charlotte. It's like South South Charlotte. I think it's low key, probably a little further than Ballantyne. But that's it. We about to head out, go to a couple stores, and have a better dining experience. <laughs> talk to y'all when I'm always trying to get dressed <laughs> so Leah and Louise just doesn't miss it just doesn't um I would like to say though if you haven't been before the menu always changes and I'm so sorry for those of you who have seen any of the other videos with Leah and Louise because when that cabbage came out honey we crushed, okay? <laughs> I completely forgot to even like try to get like any type of footage or clips of it because listen, I never in all my years ever had some cabbage that tasted like that. That was some good cabbage. Ooh, that cabbage was good. 
so we had a good it's been honestly it's been a really good day more of a good conversation oh vinyl that vinyl shop yo it's lit so they have i can put y'all down now now nah, i got some clothes on <laughs> they have um new vinyls as well as old um it's kind of funny because some of the stuff we got other people wanted <sighs> i was trying to surprise my friend right because she seen one thing i had picked up but she ain't see the other thing and this lady just ruined it she was like oh my god they got beyonce and scissor and then i was like oh my god because at first you know dream was on the other side so i was like oh she ain't really hear what she said that lady repeated herself like two, three more times. And she's like, huh? What do you mean? She ruined it. But it was it was a really good store. I don't know how long they've been open. Um, but the guy that was there said that if they don't have what you're looking for, that they can order it. So that was dope. Camp North is just a really, really cute area. And it looks like they're building like apartments and stuff over there. So I'm sure it's going to be high. <laughs> Cause uptown is right down yonder the road, but it's a really really cute area. Lots of shops, good family friendly and stuff. So if you haven't checked it out, so we just put on our little t-shirts. Our little t-shirts, <laughs> and we're just about to continue to watch movies and bonds and chat and all of that things. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Y'all know what day it is. It's Sunday. And we just getting ready for church. <laughs> um, last night we watched Dirty Dancing, which is one of my faves. Um, just a feel-good classic. None too heavy. And then we attempted to watch The Burial. And the portions that I saw was really good. <laughs> we just fall in and out of sleep. I was surprised we stayed awake during um, Dirty Dancing, but we was like awake. I was like, oh, we can do another one. Lies. <laughs> so, it's not really good. Something about Sunday mornings, I just feel, I don't know. It just, I just feel really good and happy and excited and I don't know. I'm looking forward to a good, good word today, <laughs> for sure. Um, oh, I do want to show y'all, because my drill showed up for your girl <laughs> while she was here. And she got me um, Gucci Guilty, which I'll be wearing today. I'll unbox it for you after I finish my eyebrows and stuff. It's the Intense. And this is like, I would say an OG cult favorite. I have never owned like a full size model. I've only ever had like the travel size. So I'm super excited about it. Uh, and she also got me the Ulta um, Dazzling Sense of the Season. <laughs> so it includes like the um, small travel discovery sizes of all of these fragrances. So you already know we finna do a whole separate video on it. Uh, it's 14. 14 piece kit. I'm really, really excited. I'm really, really excited to smell these because honestly, most of the time when the boxes like this come out, especially at Sephora, I've typically smelled them all. But the only one on here, I've smelled Gucci Guilty, clearly we have that. I haven't smelled Billie Eilish. Um, hers, I haven't smelled. Um, actually, I smelled this um, Carolina Herrera yesterday. And I can't remember what this Valentino smells like. But the rest of them, honey, something new. So, super excited about that. Um, kind of sad. <laughs> a little bit. It's like I'm happy it's Sunday, but I'm also a little sad because my friend is leaving. She's leaving um, after church. We're going to the airport to drop her off. So, I'm a little sad about it. Not a little bit. A whole sad. <laughs> I think that's, you know, obviously one of the hardest things about relocating is not being able to see the people you so deeply care about and love as much as you really, really want to. Um, but I'm very thankful that she came. 
um because i definitely needed this pick me up <laughs> i definitely needed some company and yeah so i'm gonna hurry up and finish these eyebrows and then i'm gonna unbox the gucci guilty intense <laughs> So now that those struggles are over with that last flash, <laughs> I'm gonna unbox her. I think. <laughs> look y'all so <laughs> what's funny is gold is actually like my favorite color and this is so freaking gold <laughs> want to make sure I wasn't breaking it Sexy. Mm. Mm, it smells so good. Mm. This was actually one of my first like entry into like the grown woman fragrances outside of like the Bath and Body Victoria's Secret. So it's definitely sentimental. Oh, it smells so good. All right, y'all. It's time for us to head out for church. Y'all know them after church naps hit different. <laughs> My friend is gone, y'all. I didn't even know like um how she did that this morning, but she wrote me like this beautiful handwritten note. Um We're not crying anymore on this vlog, okay? We're just not. Um and church was so so good today. Robert Madu was there. It's past appreciation month, so um it's expected for a lot of, you know, the normal preachers not to be at their home churches and getting some rest and such, working on other things. And y'all, he delivered the word. <laughs> and what's been really kind of like eerie, I was telling Adria this weekend is like, y'all, it's like everything we watch or we have a conversation about ends up coming like full circle or some of the conversation we were having personally, I think on Thursday and Friday, end up getting brought up in our conversation with Aisha and we we're like what in the world um even some of the stuff we were talking about last night also got brought up today and um it's just nice to have people that you're aligned with um spiritually as well and it was such a good word y'all like it's such a good word I definitely needed it <laughs> for sure um, I feel like I should just start linking uh, those sermons <laughs> in the description box because I feel like I'm always talking about how good they are, but I don't think I'd really be linking them. So look out for that. Uh, I had a really, really great weekend. Um, I am feeling, you know, the waves are coming ups and down, you know, about this um, unemployment journey, honey. <laughs> uh, but I do know it's going to work out. It's just the wind, you know what I'm saying? Like the wind. <laughs> and I think one of the things uh, my friend was telling me is that I do have struggle with receiving. <laughs> I do. And in this season, I feel like God is, you know, dealing with me or whatever. Because, y'all, I have been financially independent since I was 22 years old. I've been working consistently since my senior year of high school. Um, and I love that. I love being able to be independent. 
Um, so it just feels really weird to be entering into a season where others will be helping me and supporting me. Um, cause I hate to feel like a burden y'all. Like I just, I really don't like it. Um, but even though all of my friends and loved ones have ensured me that I'm not, I still feel like I am. Um, and I'm, you know, just trying to stay prayed up, being in word, staying in worship. One of my favorite um, gospel songs is by Shekana Glory, uh, Praise is What I Do. And, you know, praise is what I do. <laughs> Even when I'm going through, um, through the good, the bad, happy or sad, I'm going to praise them. Um, because at the end of the day, I'm still blessed. Like, <laughs> what if I didn't have people to help me out? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so I'm still blessed. Everything's going to work out. Um, God never takes away anything that he doesn't plan to restore. And my dad actually said he was preaching today um, over at this church in Richmond from Job. And he told me to reread Job. Um, so I'm going to be doing that this week. So next vlog i'm not really sure what it's gonna consist of i actually have absolutely no plans next week at all next weekend um i actually need to start like pre-packing for my friend's bridal shower and then for the trip i'm going on so we'll do like a little bit of touching of that but also i'm thinking about doing some new routine videos um i love the vlogs y'all like i really really do but i also want to tap into some of the other things i want to do on this channel um, I'm actually trying to debate right now, like, bro, should I just get up and throw on a shirt and go record that perfume video that I was showing y'all? Because, bro, the eyebrows are on, the lashes are on, barely on one eye, but it's on, you know? Um, so yeah, I will have another budget-friendly vlog coming. I'm going to be looking up some stuff to do, um, probably next week. <laughs> So thank y'all so, so, so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who commented on my last video when I announced the news. Y'all have been the sweetest. The support means the world to me. Uh, words hold power. Um, I'm a firm believer in that. <laughs> I am and I'm trying not to cry y'all. But for those of you who have taken the time to pray for me, to... <laughs> To leave nice comments. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel like this also helps reiterate some of my videos. Where I'm like, yo, when life is good, you better enjoy it, okay? You be outside. You do your thing. Life is because Listen, life go life sometimes. But it's okay. It is okay. It is okay. I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> some days I just feel terrible. And some days I feel good. But you know what? I'm going to keep fighting. <laughs> I'm finna keep fighting um, because God's been too good for me. And I'm going to leave it there before I start crying again. <laughs> Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will be back with another vlog. Uh, we have a lot of family time coming up in November. So, shout out to God for that because <laughs> this season is definitely needed. Thank you to those of you who subscribed. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in another vlog. Bye.